Explain to the audience, because we, we often talk about gr Grab as a super app, but, you know, in the United States and in other parts of the world, uh, a super app is not something that everybody's accustomed to. Yeah, so the super app, basically, if you think about it, if you have, uh, if you want to go and get your breakfast, uh, whether it's sending you to work, whether it's grabbing your groceries, whether it's uh, when you go to a mall and you pay, using Grab Pay. It's one app that covers all those needs for you and your family. Um, but I think what is really uh, even di more different is that the Super app actually also works on a merchant side and on a driver side. So for example, our drivers, they are delivering you food. The same driver is also delivering uh, e-commerce to you. The same driver is sending you home. So the beauty of that is very little dead time, very efficient and it drives the CAC lower for consumers, it drives the cost to serve down, and the flywheel grows better and better. Give us a little bit of clarity, though, on how you see the future. And, and I, it's a little hard, I know, given this variant and what that may do uh, to the economy. But, I, you know, I, I'm trying to understand what the path to profitability is. I know revenue uh, was down this year, but 9 percent year over year. And the net losses expanded uh, now to $988 million, and that was up from $621 million. So how should investors think about that? Now, on path to profitability, look, we don't view growth and profitability as mutually exclusive, Andrew. We operate in a market with a large market opportunity and low penetration across our verticals. So if you just look at food penetration is 12% in Southeast Asia versus 21% in China. Mobility is 3% in, in this region versus 12% in China. And we've been able to build a great track record of achieving significant top-line growth while taking massive steps towards profitability. So our mobility margins, for example, 12% as of Q3 2021. These are industry leading and have been relatively stable for several quarters. Our deliveries is only a three-year-old business, but already break even in the majority of our markets. And we'll apply a similar approach to cost optimization to deliveries as we have done in mobility. So we do believe we have a cost leadership advantage, as I talked about, as a super app. Uh, and, and more importantly, we're offering an ecosystem of highly complementary services that address high frequency, everyday needs, all through one app. So we're scaling and we're growing and investing in this growth while making sure we're exercising cost discipline. So I'm confident we have this clear path to profitability because of the super app model. And what's that timing look like to you? Well, we're just going to keep executing upon this long-term strategy. And we're seeing, as I shared, mobility margins are strong. Uh, we're seeing in our deliveries business break even just after three years in majority of our markets. Okay. Uh, Anthony, we want to uh, congratulate you. It is, it is a heck of a milestone, and you've done something quite remarkable uh, that you should be quite proud of. Uh, we look forward to following your progress. And uh, come on back, because we'd love to, uh, to better understand what's going on in, in Southeast Asia right now, um, especially as this variant emerges, uh, how that's going to affect the economy and the business. Good luck.